Hello everyone. Hope. The word hope. Hope to me, well, I do support Scotland, my football team. I do hope that we'll eventually get to a tournament or we'll do particularly well um, in our games against other countries. That's hope. Hope would be something that you really want to happen. Like, you want to go on holiday or you want to see your gran again or you want to go back to school, which is what we all hope we could do. Striving for something. Looking forward to something. For me, hope would stand for having only positive energy. And you know how much we strive for that as St Bridget's. So, in this time of lockdown, which we hope is beginning to slightly slacken, the National Literacy Trust have published a book called The Book of Hopes. And within that, a collection of stories and poems, there's a great one called Hope in Unexpected Places by an author many of us will know, Anthony Horowitz. So, sit back, rest up, and here are the staff of St Bridget's reading that poem to you. Enjoy. Hope in Unexpected Places by Anthony Horowitz, edited by Catherine Rundell. The town of Hope near Aberdeen is somewhere I have seldom been. But then it's not a tourist trap. It isn't even on the map. There's certainly not much to see. They've closed the local library. Because they said there is no need when no one in the town can read. They've got a pub and a hotel, but neither of them's doing well. The hotel isn't quite the Ritz. The beds have fleas, the staff have nuts. The only pub, the Rose and Crown, is easily the worst in town. The one theatre's sadly gone. It burned down while a play was on. The critics thought the place so dire that all of them preferred the fire. The cinema is second rate. The films are always out of date. The last James Bond film that I saw had Bond still played by Roger Moore. The pavements are never clean because the council's far too mean. To pay for cleaners and the park is only open after dark. The grass is lumpy, full of weeds, and dogs can only walk on leads. There is a children's playground, but when school is finished, it is shut. The chief of police is 82. He can't catch crooks. He can't catch flu. The vicar surely won't be missed since he's become an atheist. The mayor sold his golden chain and then was never seen again. The local paper isn't spot because there's nothing to report. School is like a concrete bunker. Matron's drunk, the head is drunker. Now living here must really stink. At least that's what you might think. That is simply not the case. There is no more delightful place. The fun and laughter never ends. Everyone is best of friends. And all the residents agree. There's nowhere else they'd rather be. So if you're feeling uninspired, sleeping badly, waking tired. If everything is going wrong, the day feels dark, the night's too long. Remember all the people who have found the following is true. It's so much easier to cope if you decide to live in hope. It's so much easier to cope if you decide to live in hope. It's so much easier to cope if you decide to live in hope. It's so much easier to cope when you decide to live in hope.